The house is called Falling Water for a reason. It literally sits on top of a waterfall created by a mountain river called Bear Run, making the waterfall part of the house. You can hear it while going to sleep in one of the bedrooms. You can see it under your feet in the living room. Edgar and Lillian Kaufman, owners of Kaufman's department store in Pittsburgh, wanted to build a weekend home. They hired legendary Frank Lloyd Wright, who made their dream come true, integrating the waterfall into the architecture. The final result was so noteworthy, Frank Lloyd Wright's portrait appeared on the cover of Time magazine in 1938, with falling water in the background. Visitors flocked to the house, among them celebrities of the day, Albert Einstein, Inger Bergman, Marlene Dietrich, and even United States President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. It just fit them like a pair of custom shoes. It fit their lifestyle and what they wanted to achieve here, which was an immediate um, integration or relaxation in nature. Wright's architecture is marked by abstract and geometrical forms combined with elements found in nature, such as stone, flowers, and water. It is also characterized by open spaces filled with light and air. Frank Lloyd Wright was not fond of pictures. The only frames on the wall are of family portraits or paintings by artists dear to the heart of both the architect and the Kaufman family. These include a Diego Rivera painting and a sign drawing by Picasso. Wall art is replaced by windows, nature in a strict geometric frame. Falling Water has been a museum since 1964. Smithsonian Magazine named it among the few places you need to visit in your lifetime. In the last 50 years, more than 4 million people have done just that. Masha Morton, Mike Maisuradze, BOA News, Milran, Pennsylvania.